Music theory chapter 6 interval. Musical interval means the distance between two different pitch of notes. So now we will study how to know the intervals. Number one, numerical classification, numerical intervals. So in the ruler, distance from 5 cm to the 5 cm is 0, right? But in music, the distance from Do to Do is 1, not 0. And we call the interval unison. From Do to Re, there are two tone names we can find, Do and Re, right? It is second interval. Okay. From Do to Mi, there are three tone names. Do, Re, and Mi. It is third interval. And from Do to Fa, there are four tone names, Do, Re, Mi, and Fa. It is fourth interval. Do to Sol, there are five tone names, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. It is fifth interval. Do to La, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La. There are six tone names. It is sixth interval. And Do to Si, there are seven Seven tone names, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. This is seventh interval. And last, Do to higher Do. Same tone, the higher Do and lower, lower Do. This is octave, right? Octave become always eighth interval. You can count. You can count Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Eight. Eight tone names, right? Okay, so we can say the correct answer by counting our fingers from low to high note. It is easy. Then, now, answer the following intervals uh, numerically. First, let's find the tone names from lower to the higher notes. Okay? Now we ignore the chromatic signs now. So first, from Do to C. Can you count from Do to C? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. How many tone names? There are seven tone names. Okay. So what is the answer? Answer is seventh interval. Second, Do to, uh, Fa to Fa. Fa to Fa. So there is only one tone name, Fa. So it becomes first interval. Okay? And next one, Fa to Re. How many tone names can you find? Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re. Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re. Total six tone names. It is sixth interval. Next one, Fa, Si. Fa, Si. Can you find? Fa, Sol, La, Si. There are four tone names between them. So, it is fourth interval. Re flat to Re flat. The same tone name, but different pitch. This is octave, right? Octave becomes eighth interval. Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re. Okay, eighth interval. And next one, La to Do, La Si Do. Yeah, three, three tone names. So it is third intervals. Third interval. And next one, Do to Re. Do to Re, Do and Re, two tone names. This is second interval. Last one, Sol Re. How many tone names can you find? Sol La Si Do Re, five. This is fifth interval you understand the numerical classification is easy okay next types of intervals there are five kind of intervals please memorize the titles five titles please memorize first perfect interval second major interval third minor interval fourth 
augmented interval, and fifth, diminished interval. Five, perfect, major, minor, augmented, diminished. Okay, can you memorize? It's very important to memorize. Okay, next, number three, basic and basic intervals and standard intervals. The followings are basic and standard intervals. You should know before studying various intervals. Try to memorize and remember them. Okay, number one. So from do to do. The first one, do to do is first interval or and unison interval, right? So we can say that perfect first interval. Perfect first interval. So when you see this on the keyboard, can you see? There is only one key from Do to Do. Unison is the same, same, same note. Okay? And so from Do to Re, next one, from Do to Re, so when you see this on the keyboard, there are two white keys, Do to Re. Right? To re. And between Do to Re, there is one black key, like this, right? So we can say that it is major second interval. So Do to Re is major second interval. And next, from Do to Mi. From Do to Mi, on the keyboard, Do, Re, and Mi. There are three keyboards. Three keys and between Do to Mi, there are two black keys, right? So two black keys and three white keys. So this is major third interval. Okay, and next from Do to Fa, from Do to Fa on the keyboard, Do, Re, Mi, and Fa. The four white keys and two black keys in perfect fourth. This is perfect fourth, and perfect fourth has one half step. Okay? Between Do and Fa, there is one half step. Mi Fa. Mi Fa is half step. Between Mi and Fa, there is no black keyboard. Black key. Okay. And next one, Do to Sol. Do to Sol. On the keyboard, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and Sol. There are five white keys. And how many black keys? Three of black keys. Right? So, perfect fifth has, perfect fifth interval has five white keys and three of black keys and one half step okay and next one go to la do re mi fa sol la on the keyboard do re mi fa sol and la six of white keys and four black keys and one half step okay so major six has major six has Six white keys, four black keys, and one half step. Next, O to C. O to C is major seven, major seven interval. Major seven interval has seven white keys and five black keys and one half step. Do you understand? This is major seventh interval. And last one. Do to higher Do, Do and Do is octave, right? Octave is always 8th interval, and we can say that perfect, perfect 8th interval. Okay, perfect 8th interval has uh, 8 pieces of white keys, and 5 pieces of black keys, and 2 half steps. Do you understand? Do you understand the structure of the uh, standard intervals 
It's very important. Okay, you should remember. Okay, together with a keyboard. 자, next, number four, Intervals illustration. Uh, you should understand the following illustration uh, to study various intervals more. So, for example, Do and Mi. Can you see? Do and Mi is major third. Do you remember? Do and Mi is major third. And if the distance between them, between Do and, Do and Mi, increases by some chromatic sign, like this, uh, like this, then it increases. Okay? It increases. And the interval become augmented third. Augmented third. Conversely, when the distance between uh, Do and Mi decreases like this, decreases, it becomes minor third. Okay? And if it decreases more, one more time, uh, like this, becomes diminished third. Diminished third. Can you understand? Can you follow? Can you match uh, with the staff on the note and illustration? Major third increases, augmented third, major third decreases, minor third, and minor third decreases one more, one more time, then diminished third. Okay? Okay, now, can you see the diminished on the uh, illustration? Diminished interval. So when a diminished interval increases and if they are in first, fourth, fifth, and eighth interval, then they become perfect interval. Perfect interval. And if they if they are uh, second, third, sixth, or seventh, then they become minor interval. Okay, and one more, the augmented interval. Can you see augmented interval? When an augmented interval decreases, and if it is a first or fourth or fifth or eighth interval, then it becomes perfect interval. Okay, augmented, an augmented interval decreases then it becomes perfect interval if it is first, fourth, fifth, or eighth. But if it is second, third, sixth, or seventh, it will decrease and become major third, major interval. Can you understand? So now we will finish the first lecture in chapter 6 intervals. Don't worry, even if you could not understand this lecture perfectly. The second lecture is practical exercise. So in practical exercise, uh, we'll continue next time. You will understand everything uh, through the practical exercise. Okay? So please watch and learn this lecture video again and before studying the next lesson. Okay, thank you.